Today I'll be drawing one of the new General Electric Florida East Coast ES44 C4 locomotives. These locomotives are much anticipated and very exciting as they'll be pulling a lot of the new Florida East Coast intermodal trains. Especially with the expansion of the Panama Canal, these will be bringing a lot of the new business out of many of the ports in Florida. Now the first step in all my drawings is to put the rail line down. And the rail line is just sort of a point of reference. And basically, as you can kind of see, the drawings really just basically start as a very, very basic concept. They are just really, just this frame is just a couple of lines. And the biggest thing is that when you have a couple of lines, you really should measure and make sure that the lines are composed well. Because the length of the engine here, as you look at the length of that engine, I have the lengths pretty well in my head, but the length of this engine should be about the same as the length of that engine. Because one of the issues is, is that a lot of times when a lot of artists will come up to me and say, well, I want to get the cab right, or I want to get the intakes right, they, they just start to work on that area. And the thing is, is that it's more important to... to basically like you see that you start to block out where all the different parts go on the locomotive like right here this is this is where the rear radiator section goes and then this is where the engine room doors go and this is where basically the front end takes go and then this is where the cab goes and I'm just putting little dots here to just sort of mark off where everything basically needs to go and as I put everything where it basically needs to go uh, the most important part of it all is is that your eyes will kind of start to see that that the basic size of the engine needs to roughly be right because if you start to work on on the engine and you work too much in one area or you get the cab exactly the way you want it and in getting the cab exactly the way you want it all of a sudden you, you've worked for 20 minutes on the cab and in working for 20 minutes on the cab you then all of a sudden the you realize the engine's too long or it's too short, you basically need to realize that that it's most important to get the proportions of the engine exactly the way you want them. Because measuring it out is really pretty key. Again, I've I've drawn these dozens and dozens of times.
so kind of my eye knows about what size to make everything. But the biggest thing I can sort of tell any of you is the most important part of any of this is just to practice what you see in the drawing. Keep looking at how big is the cap and how big is the radiator section. 